actually kind of fun. So you'll see down here, this is a ratio. A one-to-one -one ratio follows this line with a slope of one. And this line has a slope of 1.5. So as you get heavier and heavier and heavier, the stable nuclei end up at the 1.5 slope line. And then obviously in the middle, you could basically say, oh, in the middle it needs like 1.3. But generally you just think light, 1.1. One, one. Heavy, 1.51. One. Make sense? Okay, give me a thumbs up if this is resonating between your ears. Okay, wave your hand around if you want to talk about it some more. No? Okay. I think, let's see. Yeah. I think that's. All right, cool. We're almost done. All right. Um, so, if you understand this, we just need to talk about two more things. The first thing is nuclear fission. We talked about nuclear fission before. It happens when neutrons slap into heavy, slap, slide into heavy atoms and go, the heavy atoms go pow, and release three more neutrons, which then go pow. And if we let it go, we can produce a lot of heat and flatten a Japanese town, or two. Mm. <laughs> or, or, or islands in the, in the South Pacific. We can like, hey, let's put an island in the South Pacific and drop a bomb on it. Like, great. How many people are there? Only about 100. Put them on a boat. Uh, so that's nuclear fission. In order to achieve nuclear fission, you have to have a critical density or a critical mass, which is the minimum amount of fissionable material that will get the reaction going. The minimum amount of fissionable material that will get the reaction going is the critical mass. So, Uncontrolled nuclear fission basically makes kaboom. If we want to slow it down, we use neutron capture or neutron absorption. We basically put a sponge in the reaction and we capture those neutrons. So instead of 3, 9, 27, 81, like I mentioned yesterday, you get 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And you do that for 30 years. It still gets hot hot enough to boil water, then you boil the water, turn the turbines, and so on. How are we feeling about this? Thumbs up, we're good? Wave your hand around if you want to talk about it some more. All right. So um, in the sun, there's a nuclear reaction going, but um, it's not the same nuclear reaction. Down here, we produce a lot of heat by nuclear fission. In the sun, we produce uh, I'm going to skip it, come back to this. In the sun, we produce energy by nuclear fusion. So nuclear fusion occurs when we take two tiny things and we squish them together. In both cases, energy is released. Nuclear fusion is really great if we could just figure out how to contain it, which we haven't been able to do. It turns out if you make a tiny star in your lab, uh, that tiny star will fizzle out because the material you're using to make the tiny star disappears. It's kind of like, uh, imagine if your engine melted when gasoline encountered it, you couldn't use gasoline as fuel. That's the problem we have. The nuclear fusion is so hot that it, it basically melts whatever we're trying to use to make it. So we, we can do nuclear fusion in a lab. The problem is we can't make it keep going and without, uh, without really exotic materials that make it extremely expensive. So we're getting there. One of these days, your generation, we, fit, we figure out nuclear fusion, then uh, energy crisis goes away. The, the Middle East will never be a problem again. You're like, do we care about the oil? Not really. Yeah. Oh no, they're fighting in the Middle East. No, who cares? We don't need their oil. So that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, we may sell not have to worry about not have to worry about oil and stuff. Like we're never gonna burn any more coal. Right? Okay. All right. So um, that's about it. So let's go cue back. Any questions about this? Give me a thumbs up. If you're happy with this whole nuclear fusion thing. So where do you see it? 
in the sun. In the sun. That's pretty much any, everywhere. Um, every now and then, some lab will like, we're going to do fusion again. You're like, great. Let me know how it goes. And it always goes the same. Well, we couldn't actually make it keep going because we kept burning up what it was using. Or it, 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 we have these really exotic magnetic fields that we can use, but they tend to create tremendous amount of energy or require tremendous amounts of energy. So we don't end up making more energy than we produce. All right, so back to nuclear reactors. There we go. Okay. So this is how a pressurized nuclear reactor works. If you like diagrams, you have a tiny nuclear reaction, and you put these the little sponges called control rods. It makes the reaction get really hot, but not hot enough to blow up a city. Just hot. And it boils the water. And the water goes through the turbine. And the turbines run a generator. And then the electricity goes from the generator to your home so you can play Xbox. And then the water gets cooled down, and you pump it back through, and it keeps going through and through and through and through. And the thing you need to know about the nuclear reactor is the water is not, not nuclear. The water is not contaminated with nuclear material. You could just uh, you could bathe in this water. You'd be like, yeah, cool. Warm. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. It only becomes an issue when the cooling stops working. And then when the cooling stops working, uh, the, the control rods are there to slow the reaction down, and the water is there to cool the reaction down. If the water doesn't cool the reaction down, then uh, it gets really hot and could actually melt concrete. Hot enough to melt concrete, which is what happened in Chernobyl. The concrete melted, and the reactor basically fell out of its cooling area. And it was like, bye-bye, and it couldn't cool anymore. Yeah? Why is the mentioned so often when we're talking about... Um, Fusion? Yeah. Because deuterium is what we use to fuse together. So uh, this is deuterium. Deuterium is a hydrogen with an extra with extra neutrons. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Questions? Are we good with this stuff? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we have to have another question.